This man is paralyzed from the waist down, but thanks to a neural stimulator implanted in his body, he's riding a bike and training for the Cyborg Olympics. In October 2016, people with disabilities will compete in the world's first competition for cyborg athletes, the Cybathlon. The games will be held in a stadium in Zurich, Switzerland. Teams will compete in six events, including a race for paralyzed people wearing exoskeletons, an obstacle course for amputees using prosthetic arms, and a muscle stimulation bike race for people with paralyzed legs. One of the teams training for that bike race is in Cleveland, Ohio. Their cyborg athlete is Michael McClellan. McClellan injured his spinal cord in a dirt bike accident. His damaged nerves can't transmit movement commands from his brain, so his legs are paralyzed. But in 2011, he volunteered for an experiment in which surgeons implanted electrodes into his hips and legs. The electrodes stimulate the undamaged nerves below the site of his injury, and those nerves send messages to his muscles. The neural stimulation system was designed by Professor Ronald Triolo. It's a complex system that relies equally on hardware and software. First, a surgeon implanted a pulse generator in McClellan's abdomen. Thin wires connect the generator to the electrodes in his legs. Then Professor Triolo programmed the pulse generator remotely. By stimulating the nerves in certain patterns, he can control exactly how McClellan's leg muscles contract and release. Different stimulation patterns produce different movements. McClellan can use the stimulator to stand up from his wheelchair, support his weight, and even to take small steps. When Triolo's research team heard about the Cybathlon's bike racing event, they decided to sign up. The first challenge was to figure out the stimulation pattern that would make McClellan's leg muscles push the pedals of a bicycle. Soon McClellan and the tech team were ready to see how he'd do on a real bike, so they headed to a park across the street. The tech team says McClellan is looking good. The pattern of nerve stimulation is producing the right motions. The electrodes stimulate the nerves, and McClellan's muscles do the actual work. It's a delicate balance of tech and brawn. Biking is a workout for McClellan, and like any athlete, he has to avoid muscle fatigue. Triolo says it's the interplay between muscles and electrodes, between man and machine, that's the key to success. If the team can find the winning combination, McClellan just might take home the gold medal next October at the world's first Cyborg Olympics.